I have recently returned from a trip to Spring Harvest. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a Christian festival which takes place annually at Butlins during Easter. In previous years I've travelled to Minehead by car as part of the church family. This year, for the first time, I went as part of a couple by public transport to Skegness. The journey went smoothly, despite it being a bank holiday Monday. As we got off the bus and were walking to the main gates of Butlins, a car went past in the pouring rain and raced through a muddy puddle, which not only soaked us from head to foot, but covered us in thick black mud. As we entered the gates two minutes later, the heavens opened and a violent hailstorm soaked us to the skin. And later on, when we were unpacking, found that everything in our suitcases was soaking wet. We couldn't get into our chalets until later, and as we hadn't been to this site before, we wandered around aimlessly, getting wetter, colder and somewhat dejected. When we finally found the check-in point, they didn't have our information to hand, so we had to wait for it to be sorted out. Next to the check-in building was a cafe which provided a warm welcome literally, and hot drinks. It was also comforting to find that there were people in there that I knew from St Columbus Church in Corby and that gave me a sense of welcome and reassurance. Before settling into our accommodation we went to the restaurant for dinner. I'd pre-booked a dining package. We were pleasantly surprised by the quality, quantity and variety of food on offer. We were further surprised on entering our accommodation to find that there was a welcome tray of tea, coffee, etc., that the rooms are very pleasant, modern and comfortable, and that the TV worked, the bed was comfortable, the shower was very efficient, and the hot water was hot. Things were looking up. We went to most of the main events of Bible study and worship, One of the highlights was an audience with Terry Waite, which attracted thousands of people and was very moving and powerful. The worship band at the main event was fantastic. They had never played at Spring Harvest before and so were quite unknown, but were absolutely brilliant, singing and playing a large number of my favourite songs, which everyone seemed to know. To hear two and a half thousand people worshipping together It's awesome, and it was great to be part of it. The daily Bible study led by Malcolm Duncan was also excellent, and also attended by around 2,500 people, eager to hear the word of God preached in Malcolm's unique style. There were numerous activities and events for children of all ages, from 0 to 90, including everything from creative songwriting to craft activities, taking part in worship services and everything in between. And lots of people made a commitment to Christ during spring harvest. As well as large noisy gatherings, there was also a traditional communion service at 8 o'clock each morning, which attracted over 100 people. The weather was as variable as the activities, with our friends at Minehead suffering even more atrocious weather than we had in Skegness. We did manage to see the sea eventually, but had to turn our backs on it due to a sandstorm. In spite of, or maybe because of, the challenges, there were many others too numerous to mention here, this week has been a real blessing and it was a privilege to be able to go and be part of this incredible event.